Off we go. So your leader is just coming into the home straight now. That's Gaetano Ayello. He's about to come down to the judge to get three to go. If you look across to the back straight, in the white over there, Jacob Cox, he's last. He's 230 metres behind Gaetano Ayello. So Gaetano Ayello past the judge. He's got three to go. Leads out. Lee Howson's the first giving chase in second spot. Shane McGregor coming into the home straight now. He's third. Sean Burton behind him was fourth. Ashley Brown was fifth. Next was Mark Beveridge and Lock Lockie Hennix right behind him. A group of three there. Then you've got a break of about 25 metres. You've got a group of nearly half a dozen runners here. Let it, held up by Bradley Kiddo. Behind him, Corey Watkins. Next then was Tom Lancaster. Then Tim Earl. Jordan Harvey. Uh, next was Luke Barrow. And the last two going past the judge, Lachlan Scott and Jacob Cox. So your race leader... Gaetano Aiello, when he started, uh, he was 230 metres in front of the back marker, Jacob Cox. I reckon Jacob Cox has made up at least 50 or 60 metres on him in, the, in that first lap. And we're about to get a new leader here, Gaetano Aiello. He's about to be joined by Lee Housen as they come down to the judge to get two laps left to run. Shane McGregor was in third spot and behind him running fourth was Sean Burton. Lockie Hennick was in fifth spot. Behind him then was Mark Beveridge. Then you've got a group of four runners. You've got Brad Kitto. With him was Corey Watkins and also Tom Lancaster and Tim Earl. Tacking onto them were both Lachlan Scott and Jacob Cox. Next then was Luke Barrow. Behind him then was Ashley Brown. Next then was Jordan Harvey. He's at the tail with two laps left to travel. So running into the back, you've got uh, this new leader, Lee Housen, who's trying to open up a bit of a break now. So Lee Housen out in front now by probably 25 to 30 metres. Lockie Hennig's about to move up into second spot now. But uh, the man in the blue, he's the one on the march pretty quickly here. And that's Lachlan Scott. He started off 98 metres. He's run to second now, and I think he's going to be in front when they get to the judge with a lap to go. So Lee Housen turns into the home straight to come down to get the bell from Lachlan Scott in second spot. Now, trying to respond to go with him uh, would have been Corey Watkins. So he's certainly hanging in there. Lachlan Hennig and Jacob Cox, who started off 90. He's now putting himself right into the picture now. So the big guns are up there as they get the bell. Lachlan Scott leading the way. Stalking him, Corey Watkins. But Jacob Cox has now run to third. Lockie Hennig trying to hang on to them in fourth spot. Next was Sean Burton. Behind him was Brad Kiddo. And they start to move away from Lee Housen. Further back then to Shane McGregor. Let's get back to the leaders. And we've got a new leader now. Corey Watkins has taken up the front running now. Lachlan Scott second. Jacob Cox third. Is that the podium? Uh, certainly the boys behind have got some work to do. Headed up by Lockie Hennig. They run to the 200 metre mark. And it's Corey Watkins in front. Leading from Lachlan Scott. Jacob Cox. He's about to come to the outside now to have his go. They run towards the 150. And Corey Watkins trying to wind it up. He's trying, trying to take the sprint out of both Lachlan Scott and Jacob Cox. He's doing a pretty good job. They'll turn for home into the headwind though. It's Corey Watkins. First into the home straight. Leading from Lachlan Scott. Jacob Cox peeling to the outside now. Jacob Cox cutting loose. Jacob Cox moves up to Corey Watkins. Takes the lead. Perfectly timed race. Jacob Cox goes on to win. Beats Corey Watkins second. Lachlan Scott third. Fourth was Sean Burton. Fifth to finish was Brad Kiddo. Then Lockie Henning.